Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back on the brush pile right here. We're gonna see if we can catch a crappie or two. I just caught me a nice one. We're off camera. Let's see if we can get a nothing. Probably won't. But every time I try to fish with the camera off, I catch a big one. Seems like. Let's see if we can get a nothing. See if we can get a nothing to bite it. Probably not. Hey, yeah. That's a good one, too. Oh! He got off. Golly, boom. Why are they getting off? That was a big one. I lost another one. That's two I lost right here. Big ones. That's one. I don't understand that. Hey, dang. I mean, big ones. Hmm. What it is? I lost two slabs right here on this brush. You can't keep losing them. They quit biting. Probably gonna quit biting. Don't go on it. There you missed another. One. Lord have mercy. I'm missing them left and right. I am missing them left and right. There's some down there, and I'm just missing them. Can we get them this time? One thing right after another. Now the sun's popping out. Okay, dang. I'm missing. I caught one big one. I lost two big ones and I had another bite and missed him. You know there ain't gonna be many more hit. I bet you money on it. Bet money on it. They down there, they just they ain't gonna keep hitting. I'm gonna get another bite now. I'm wounded them all up. Okay, day. Good crap is too. Big ones. Then we'll get another bite. And show with the world how to butchered up these fish. I don't understand why I'm missing them. Why they getting off? They're just not sucking it in good already. Now the sun's coming out. That's it. I can guarantee you that's it. There you go. Got nothing. Got nothing. See if we can catch this one. Doggone it. He ain't that big. Hand size. It wasn't like the other ones. Hand size. Come on, boy. Doggone rascal. Drop back out. Maybe we'll catch nothing. they 15 foot deep. 25 foot of water. With it. Pile of them down there, too. There you There you Maybe we'll get them going. That's a little bit better. Not much better. A little bit. Pretty nice. Crappy. Ow, oh, come on here. Big in your hand. Big in your hand. All right, let's get back up and get another. Hey, I like this. Clear water crappies. Get another. Pull back around. On the spot. Got to get right on the spot. Getting closer. Ain't quite got the yet. There's a school of them running around down there. Got a little tiny brush I put in here years ago. I need to put some more in here. What I need to do. Right there. Right there's a brush. Get him to bite.
missed it. That doggone reel. This piece of junk reel. I need to throw it in the trash and get my new reel out of here. Doggone bell springs messed up on it. I keep keeping it on. I need to take it off. There you go. There you go. He nailed it. That's a good one. That's a good one there. That's a good one there. That's a good one there. Oh yeah. That's a nice one there. Bigger than other than anyhow. Ah, about the same size. Lake Murray. Lake Murray brush pile crappers. That's what they are. Lake Murray brush pile crappers. Rub some of that juice on them. Alright, let's throw it back out. up here. See we can get another to pop it. The school up now. No question. There he is. There he is. There he is. Last one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Right, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Gonna get us some mess of crap and show us the world. Calm down. Should have been fishing for crappies all morning. Mess with them rockfish didn't want to bite. Hey, let's drop it back down and get a nothing. That ought to be a nothing right there. Following it. This crap is down to get them to bite it. Drop it down a little deeper. We're right on top of them. One ought to be hitting it. Right on top of them. They're quit biting now. And quit biting. Come on, boys. I should have been fishing for crappies all morning. I'd have had a limit. Mess around with them stripers out there. Now's the last time stripers will bite because the sun's popping out. Crappies would have bit when it was overcast, does it? There you go. Oh, he got off. Golly, bum, I'm losing too many. It's because they're not taking it. They're just sucking at it. That little tiny jig, they ought to be killing it. They down there. I'm telling you, this crap is down there. Mm, 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 mm. That was a heavy crappy too. Heavy. There he is again. There he is again. There he is again. He ain't that big, this one ain't. They all about the same size. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, boy. Look at that. Calm down. All right. Back out. We got something going now. We got something going on right here. We can keep them going. We might catch a mess. I don't know how many of bite that they quit, but I see a lot of them down there. It's a whole school of them down there. I mean a whole school of them. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a real good one. Come in here, boy. I'm going to net him. I'm going to pull out and paper mask. Look at that. Hey, that's a nice one. Look at that. Huh? Catching them, ain't we? Hey, they're killing it. I'll show you this little jig setup I'm using. Two jigs. One up about a foot and a half above the other. 
top jig is a Bobby Gall, and that bottom jig is a, a really, like I said, I don't even know the name of the little sparky tail jig that I that I bought a long time ago. I just got them scattered out in my tackle box, and they'll hit that joker. A little small jig. It's like a, almost like a monkey milk color. Uh-oh, we got a dog on mess. We don't need this, but we got a mess. We got a tangle up here. This out. Don't bear with me. I don't know what happened. But it happened. For sure. There it is. There it is. Okay, we need to get back up by spot. Pull back up to the spot. We got them going. We don't we, they like the anything else. You can let them settle back down there, quit biting. Seventeen foot. Seventeen foot. Let's see if we can catch one. Seventeen foot. They ain't eating it up, but they bite him. If you put it on his nose, he'll bite it. Probably would hit metals better. We got them all under us. I'm telling you, they're all under us. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit more. I'm probably gonna get in the brush. Then I really mess up. Uh-oh, they done quit. They done quit. They done been hammered enough. There's more that up. I see them. Bite and make them bite. And quit. They want to quit. Wanting to quit on me. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Another nice hand size in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He barely hooked. He got the dip. Barely hooked. Okay. Bobby Garland got him. Barely hooked. Bobby Garland. Lake Murray Trappers. You got to love it. Look at that. Lake Murray Crappers. We get another. Hey, this is getting fun. Mess around and catch us a lemon. Mess around here and catch a lemon of crappies. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be really nice. I need to put out some more brush. I can tell you that right now. I can see that. I need to drop another tree in here. Pinpoint it now. We got it pinpointed. They good eating size crappies. We get a nothing. Missed him again. Good day. Missed him twice. 
You bleed out. Drop it back down. I missed him twice. Missed him twice. It kind of moved. I don't see the big school up there. I see some shad down there, but I don't see the fish. All about getting that boat in the right position. Right spot. All about holding the boat when it's crappy fish. Man operating the trolling motor's got to hold the boat. The wind's whipping me back and forth, making it difficult. And I don't see the fish like I did. I think we might run them out, caught some of most of them out. What I think. It's like some shad down there though. I don't believe them crappers. I believe that's a, a cloud of bait fish come in here. What I think that is. It don't look like crappers right there. Ooh, there was a bump. Something bumped it right there. I said it was a perch. They got off of them. They done left. So the world. They done left. Back on that school. We gonna catch any more. Uh oh. Slowed up. Really slowed up. I ain't see them. I gotta move around and see if I can find that school of them. They might have moved just a little bit. They show ain't under me. I can tell you if there's fish down there. Right now, it's just like shad. It ain't, it, ain't the, it ain't the crappers I was catching. Change the depth a little bit. Go a little deeper. See if that make one bite it. Doggone it, and I quit. Quit. Big school of move one. I'm not seeing that. Right there's a little something. There could be a couple crabbies. Well, hey, ain't looking real good right here. We was on them, now we ain't. It's that simple. We was on them, now we ain't. There's the brush. The fish ain't on the brush like they were. They done quit on me. Check the jig. They done definitely quit. No doubt about that one. Definitely quit.
there he is. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He hit it. He hit it. I just missed him. Another one hit it. I believe that's. Oh, they went with it. What that is? Hit. <laughs> Whatever it is, nailed it. I tell you that. Hey, hey. I ain't sure that's crap. Yeah, it is. Crap in the side of the head. Look at that. In the side of the head. Nice one, too. Old slab. Side of the head. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Let me show you what we catch this fish on. Look at that. Ain't a bad crap. It is a, uh, a little pork tail pig, I'll tell you about. I don't even know the name of it. And a Bobby Gore top with it. Off a of braid, he got about three foot of monofilament. Dropping it off a of braid. That's what I'm using. Today. A double rig. They don't get used to me now. What kind of mess fish in there? Got a few crappies at the other place down yonder. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Oh my, there's nothing. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Oh Lord, he done broke off. Now I got to retire. Hey, today that line show ain't much. Hey, we got to retire. But we'll get right back with you when I retire. Look at him. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there, we cut off that brush. That's pretty darn good for Lake Murray. Hey, I'll get right back with you when I retire. Hey, folks, drop back down. We moved a little bit off the buoy, not much, and I got another bite. A nice one, too. Nice crappy, that. Biggest one of the day. When you least expect it, that biggest one to hit it. Look at that. Nice slab. A little bit over a pound, maybe. That's a good one. They tearing that little jig up, ain't they? I mean, some good ones out here to be caught. The spot right there. Ooh, one bumped it. One bumped it and I didn't jerk like a dummy. I'm playing with it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Got him that time. That's a little bit better. That is a good one. That is a dipper. That is a dipper. Still in a whopper, but he's, I don't want to pull him loose. He's a nice one. Huh, he's a nice one. They're killing that jig, ain't they? Look at that. Huh, they're killing that jig. Look at that. What? Crappy fishing on Lake Murray. You gotta love it. The old fisherman. Is uh, adapting because I had a hard time with striping this morning. Uh, I really didn't stay with it long. I don't like cloudy weather, a real cloudy weather striper fishing. I like for it to be uh, a little bit of uh, sunshine. Hey, nothing hit it. Nothing hit it. I know it's more down there. When I first pulled up there, it was a pile of fish down there. So there's a pretty good school of crappies laying down here amongst that whatever trash is down there. Just enough to hold them. Nothing green, old, a couple sticks. What it is. A couple sticks. Oh yeah, boy, I dropped it down in one pick and I missed it. Look at that, pull my jig down. I went quite to him. I dropped it down a little deep and he picked it. I'm 
I turned my jig over and tore up one side of it. to the bottom where the big boys lie. Alright. Catch a couple more. It's kind of slow, but hey, it's fast enough to keep you interested. Fast enough to keep you interested. We get one or two more. I know we're about to pluck them out. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Nice one, too. Nice one, too. Get on in here, big boy. Look at that old big black crap. Look at that. They're killing that little double G, that little double tail G. They ain't hitting the Bobby Gold, and they, and they could be that's the bottom of the G. You got something to do with it. See that? Nice crappers. Good crappers. Late murder crappers. We might have to cut us a little bush or two and bring out here and drop down on this thing. Because it don't look like I need nothing. Looks like they already here. a little bit deeper. I think probably a lot of them laying right there on that bottom. When that G gets close to him, he pops it. This time of year the mayfly lovers is getting ready to hatch and you got these little worms crawling around these brushes down in there. That's probably what they're feeding on. Mayfly lovers. Any day they'll be hatching. When they start hatching, they're hard to catch because they're full. There is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That, my friend, is a good one. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That's the biggest one of the day right there. We can get him in the boat. Look at that. The biggest one of the day. Ain't no whopper, but he's a nice one for Lake Murray. See him? Look at that. He's a good one for Lake Murray. Pretty fish. Hey, I love catching a few crappies, man. I love catching a few crappies. I do. Hey, let's try it out again. This is getting so much fun. Overcast. We on a chest cam. Uh, back in the cove here and uh, catching a few crappies on the chest cam today. See him right there? Chest cam. See we catching nothing. Dropping down about, you see that fish finding, see all them crappies down the bottom about 15 foot deep? I think the whole bottom's covered. That's what I think. And uh, we're gonna try to catch a couple of them. We're using that doggone little double tail G, flat G. That I got to see if I can find the name of. I've had for years. And uh, hey, let's see what we can do here. Looks like it's fixing to rain. I think we get this thing at the right spot, we can catch a fish. What I think. Get a little deeper. Fishing about 
18, 20 foot down is what, where I'm trying to target. And uh, it's a lot of shad and stuff out here on the bottom. Hopefully we can get us a few crappies. 27 foot of water. That one was in here. You would think it'd be another one. Might not get another. That might have been an accident. It's an ideal day to fish for crappies with it overcast. Doggone, that must have been an accident. Had to be. I tell you though, you got to get right on the right spot. We might have just uh, was on the edge of it. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's a crappy, right there. That's a good one. Huh? That's a nice one. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Look at that, folks. That's a nice one. Look at that. We're using this doggone little jig, and I don't know the name of it. It's, it's kind of got like blue specks in it. It's creamy looking. And we got a double jig on. Uh, on the top here, it's twisting up on me, but uh, we got uh, Bobby Garland. But they're hitting that other jig. They're not hitting this Bobby Garland. And we got a little swivel with two lines coming off of it, lead in between. That's what we got. Let's drop it back down so we can catch another. One little spot out there I'm seeing crappies. Get on the spot, we catch one. That's what happens. I don't know if y'all can see the tip of that rod or not, but watch it. You'll see them tap it in a minute, hopefully. I get back at the right spot. Twenty-seven foot, and I see a cloud or something right on the bottom. They could be crappies. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that. There he goes. There he goes. Big old crappie. Look at that. Look at that butter crap. They're gonna lift him up. Oh, a lot of times they'll pull loose when you lift them up like that. Look at that, huh? Nice crappy. Look at that, ain't that pretty? We got something to eat here. We got some, oh, we done tore my jig up. We got to rehook it. I like that thing to get straight. It's flat, and by being flat, it gives it a, a good little presentation down there with that lid above it, about eight inches. We're gonna drop it down again. Got the chest cam on again, and we got a doggone crappy coming in. Look at that, nice one, nice one, nice crappy. See that? That's a nice one. See if we can get another one. We got some crappies out here. We can just catch them. On this chest cam, we're in about 26 foot of water, and they're right there close to the bottom. Plenty of them out there. I don't know how big they're gonna be. There's plenty of them out there. If we get it the right spot, we catch one of them. I 
right down there on the bottom. There he is. There he is. We done found us some crappies. There he is. Look at a chest cam. Look at that water crappy. Huh? Look at that water crappy. Look at that water crappy. Y'all see him? Y'all see him? Look at him. And we're catching him on that doggone double tail with two wing jig. Come line of special, I reckon I call it. Don't know where they come from, or they even, probably don't even make them no more. They sure biting it. I can tell you that. They sure biting it. They eating it up. They ain't touching the Bobby Garland, but they eating that one up. And they're right on the bottom down there. There he is. There he is. That dog on reel keeps slipping, but they're right on the bottom. Huh. Y'all see it? You tearing them up, ain't you? You catching some doggone crappies. I don't know. Hey, they caught him on the Bobby Garland. Look at that. There he is. That nut didn't. We got a nut. We got a nut. Nice one too. We got a nut. Big old crappy. That's a big old crappy. Nice crappy. He ain't a whopper, but he's a nice one. He's a he's a eater. Definitely an eater. Definitely an eater. Rub some of this slime on that jig. Hey, definitely an eater. Look at that. See if we get another. Miss Red here and caught us some mess crackers. Right there ought to be a fish. There he is. I knew it ought to be one there. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, I hate lifting them up like that, though. You know what'll happen? they break off and show of the world. Got him on the body guard. Oh, fell out of my hand. Slab crappy done fell out of my hand. Huh? Oh, Lord. Hey, he done fell out of my hand. He's a good one, though. It's a good, nice eating size. Folks, we finally got our limit of crappies. Uh, something, most of them was on camera. But we had a good day, though. We went striper fishing. We caught a few, but I really wasn't doing much. So I went crappy fishing. I changed around and went crappy fishing. And I'm going to show you what we caught, and I'm going to show you what I used. Most of the crappies were caught off this doggone little jig right here. And I got to figure out what the name is. I don't have the packages they come in, but it's a split tail jig I bought a long time ago. And of course we had the Bobby Garland on top and I had a double uh, a swivel with two lines and in the middle of the jigs I got a, uh, a lead, a number seven lead. That's how we caught them. But uh, I want to thank y'all for being with me. Go to stevecumliner.com uh, to get your merchandise and uh, tell your friends about the old fishermen. And thanks for being with me on another episode and I'm going to show you a picture of these doggone fishing. I got them laying out here. See them? Nice, nice crappers. Uh, not huge, but the, the hand size are better. Hey, thanks for being with me on another episode of Loving Life. Thank you for watching the Old Fisherman videos.